Elizabeth makes a deposit of $1,000 at 12% interest. Question number one, what is the interest amount she makes after one year? Question number two, what is the total amount in the bank after one year? So $1,000 at 12% interest for one year. What is the interest amount and what is the total amount? Question number three, after one year, she now withdraws the total in her account and puts it for one more year. Let's call it the second year at 12% interest. What is the interest in dollars she makes for the second year? Question number four, what is the total amount in the bank at the end of the second year? Question number five, Elizabeth's sister, Sally, puts $1,000 at 12% for two years compounded yearly. What is the total amount Sally has after two years? So Elizabeth's sister, Sally, puts $1,000 at 12% for two years compounded yearly. What is the total amount Sally has after two years? So Elizabeth makes a deposit of $1,000 at 12% interest. So what is the principal? Principal is $1,000 at 12% interest. So what is the rate? Rate is 12% and we have to convert that to a decimal. So we divide it by 100 and so we get 0 0.12. What is the time? One year. So we have the principal, the rate, as a decimal and time. What is the time? Just one year. So substitute all those numbers that we know. And what do we get? Principal is 1000, rate is 0 0.12, time is one. So, so substitute all those numbers, 1000 times 0 0.12 times one, and we get $120. $120. This is the interest that she gets. She already had $1,000 to begin with. So what is the total amount she now has after one year? It'll be 1,000 plus 120, which is 1120. So interest is 120. What is the total amount she has in the bank? 1,120. So question number two, very obvious. So what is the total amount? So whatever was our principal plus the interest that she received. So 1,000 was what she had. She received $120 as interest. So the total is 1,120. So question number two, question number two, what is the total amount in the bank after one year? 1,120. Question number three, Elizabeth's money has now grown to 1,120. Very good for her. Well, now the question is this, she withdraws that money and puts it back into the bank at 12% interest for one more year. So what is the principal that she has now? 1,120. What is the rate as a decimal? 0 0.12. What is the time in years? It's just one. So principal times rate times time. So 1,120 times 0 0.12 times one and she receives $134.40 as interest in the second year. So she started with 1,120. Now she has 134.40 more. And so what is the total amount that we expect in her account? So what is the total amount that she has now? 1,254.40. 1,254.40. So again, question number four, what is the total amount in the bank at the end of the second year? It is 1,120 she started with, plus the interest she received, $1,254.40. Before we do question number five, I hope you understand what we have done. If she had not withdrawn, she would have got $120 every year and she would have 
at the most got 240 for two years. Instead of 240, she has 254 dollars and 40 cents. She is smart. So now let's see what her sister did. So Elizabeth's sister Sally puts 1,000 dollars at 12% interest for two years, but compounded yearly. What is the total amount Sally has after two years? So question number five. So what is A? A is the amount after T years. What is P? Principal. What is the principal that we have? 1000. Do we know A? No. What is the interest rate as a decimal? It is 12%. So we had to convert that to a decimal. So it is 0 0.12. What is N? It is compounded yearly. Now the question is this. How many years go into one year? Just one. So n is equal to one. So period is one. n is the period. And what is the time in years? Time in years is two years. Two years. So we substitute all the numbers that we have. Substitute for p. Substitute for r as a decimal. Substitute for n. Substitute for n and substitute for t and what do we get r is 0 0.12 n is 1 n is 1 time is 2 years and what do we get we get this and 0 0.12 divided by 1 is 0 0.12 so 1 plus 0 0.12 is 1.12 and 1.12 to the power of 2 is 1.2544 and multiply that by 1,000 and you get $1,254.40. $1,254.40. Elizabeth withdrew the money after one year and put it back for one more year and she got $1,254.40. Elizabeth's sister Sally Put $1,000 at 12% for two years compounded yearly and she get the same amount. That is the nice thing about compound interest. This is George Matthew. Please link to us. Thank you.